Hey everybody. When you're building a dashboard, it's easy to assume that all of the data that you need kind of magically exists in a nice clean table somewhere like this. Perfectly formatted, perfectly collated, everything reported instantly on time and with the right date granularity. Everything is just going to be perfect and you're going to be able to build whatever you want with it. Um, and unfortunately, that's often not the case. Um, and that's true across all organizations, the biggest and the smallest. I've worked on projects with all of all of the brands in between, and uh, you consistently see that there's always going to be some kind of hiccups. Reporting data is not perfect. It's not a perfect system. And what that means is that when you're doing a dashboard project, issues are going to come up along the way. You're going to have to course correct. And a lot of dashboard projects, people um, often kind of underestimate the scope of them, but if you're doing a big custom coded command center system with data from tons of different sources, it's going to be expensive. Um, th those can be six figure projects, those can be seven figure projects, um, and they require lots of people all working together to make them happen. And with all that overhead, course correcting can be really, really expensive. Um, so. That's kind of one of the main reasons I get so excited about Excel as a dashboard prototyping tool. You can, before you've brought a whole team on, just on your own, go out, manually collect the data that you're going to be using, manually bring it all together, and put something together that looks pretty good, that captures the insights you want to capture, that includes the visualizations you want to include. It doesn't have to look like this, right? You don't have to be building something really fancy that, you know, with visual design skills and all that kind of stuff. But just getting that data, manually manually processing it yourself, putting some visualizations together, it's going to force you to kind of uncover a lot of the um, a lot of the roadblocks you might run into down the line. And it's going to give you a lot of familiarity with your data that you wouldn't otherwise have. And that familiarity is going to help a lot when issues come up later on. You're going to kind of understand uh, you're going to understand the challenges a little bit better. You're going to be able to push things in a, in the right direction a little bit easier. It's a really valuable thing to do, and it's going to save you a lot of money, right? That's that's what I tell people, right? That's the big one. It's got a lot of money, a lot of a lot of pain down the line. You're gonna you're gonna be avoiding problems that are going to be very difficult to overcome when you have the weight of an entire active project behind you. And that's worth it. I, I really suggest everybody kind of takes that step. This looks like it's really complex and really difficult, but it's really not as bad as you might expect. This is all standard Excel features. These are just shapes, text, right? Metrics and charts, stuff that you've probably worked with before in Excel. Um, you can get as visually complex or fancy as you want, uh, but for a prototyping stage, that's not quite as important. Um, and you probably have most of the underlying skills you need to do something like this. I, the other point I bring up here is that one thing I found consistently across projects, if you have an actual dashboard prototype, even if it's just an image, but even better if it's something with real data flowing into it, like an Excel report, it goes a long way to get internal buy-in and to do kind of selling of a project internally. Uh, I would like to think everyone's perfectly rational in their decision making around data focused projects, but that's just not really the way it is. Uh, people just get excited by dashboards and they get excited because dashboards are cool, right? It's not always super logical, but when you show them something like this, it can oftentimes be the thing that maybe pushes them one step forward to say, hey, I'll consider this. Hey, maybe we do want to invest the time and effort to make something. Uh, that reports our data like this. Um, so it's it's really a great way of kind of selling to that that data driven fantasy that a lot of people have. Um, it can be one of the most effective internal sales tools that I know of. So just another reason to consider it. I hope this is helpful. Hope it uh, gives you a little inspiration to go out and try it yourself. Um, if you want training to do stuff like this or you just want to get more familiar with it, I have a newsletter that's formatted like a course. So you kind of get a template each week and those, template teach, those templates teach you kind of new concepts, design concepts, etc. And you can go into the templates and just pull them apart to see how each thing is built. I think that's one of the most effective ways to learn this stuff. Even if you don't want to join the newsletter, it's fine. Just Google sample dashboards and look at them. Pull apart each little bit click into each element, see how it's styled, see how it's structured, 
um, and it'll go a long way to getting you up to speed to do this, because I promise you know you have more of these underlying skills than you might expect. Anyway, thanks so much, everybody. Hope that was helpful. Uh, I'll be posting next week uh, with a little bit more uh, info about how I go about building dashboards like this. Thanks so much. Bye.